So you've probably seen this, the shield, the fake user. What is it? You've probably been told in several tutorials that you have to click it. So I'll try to show you how it works. Blender basically uses data blocks. Each data block has some information. Now that information can be settings, it can be uh, information about your shaders, anything. Um, but also your materials and your textures and your models. So here I have three blocks. The middle is your material, the right one is the texture, and the left one is your object, your model. So if one of these, for instance, the object is connected to the material, or I assign the material, the material will then have one user. So the object is a user of that material. But the texture doesn't have a user. No one is connected to it. It doesn't, be, it doesn't get used. So it has zero users. So what happens then when you decide to close Blender and then reopen it again? Well, in the meantime, the trash collector, garbage collector, has uh, just deleted the texture. It's gone. It didn't have any users, so it wasn't useful. Be gone. So what you can do instead is when you create a texture, you can assign it a fake user. So that's what happens. You assign it a fake user, you press the shield and tell Splendor that, hey, this texture has a user. Don't delete me. Keep me. So basically by pressing the shield, you've shielded the object from the garbage collector. So let's uh, take a look at a real-time example here. I'm going to open the dope sheet in the action editor, which I use a lot when I export my models to Unity. I'm going to create a few new actions. I'm going to name them uh, idle and so on. And we're going to see what happens. I know, I know there's a middle button there you can press to create a new action, but I've always pressed the close button and then new. That's just been my style. But if you take a look to the upper right now, you can see a number right next to the shield here on the materials tab. Now that number tells you how many users are assigned to that material. And it's really helpful. So if you change the material, you know how many objects are going to be affected by your change if you change the color, for instance. So let's go back to the actions here. You can see that all the actions have a zero uh, on the left of them. And that means there's no user assigned to that action. And that means if we close Blender now and open it back up, those will be thrown away by the garbage collector. So let's select the uh, idle animation and we're gonna just turn it around a bit and we're gonna add a keyframe to it location and rotation and then go back to check and now you see there's a user it doesn't have a zero anymore that means the action have got itself a user so this will not be deleted now if we save the file and close the program but the other ones will still be gone so what you can do is to select one of those like for instance run and press the shield so now we're given run a fake user even though it doesn't have any data, doesn't have any information at all, but it will still persist to your next session. So let's see now, save and close the program and reopen it and open up the data block uh, <laughs> cubes.blend and let's have a look. And as you can see, run is still there, but all the other ones like the attacks and the idle two is gone. So only the data with a fake user and the one with location and rotation survived. Here's another example. I have some uh, texture masks, which I've created individual textures for. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to open it again. And my texture masks are gone. So you saw there were several of them. And now there's just three left, which were used. And one was forced uh, on a fake user. So that's it. Uh, you have fake users and they are useful users. <clears throat> so the only thing that protects your awesome work from the garbage collector is the shield.